tell me though about populism as a concept what is happening uh, in politics is not unique to india even the pushback and you've explored this in one of your books the pushback against the old elite this is a global phenomena today someone like trump who was actually a sort of billionaire insider of new york city was able to position himself as the outsider and make an entire political career from this idea that there is a liberal elite that has captured culture these are culture wars at its heart these are culture wars right and you have explored this idea of the old elite the darbar the delhi darbar what we now call latins delhi and so on we have to also understand the politics in the context of that don't we well i think there are two aspects to this first of all the delhi darbar had become extremely arrogant you know it used to be said of france hmm. that people outside paris hate parisians yeah. because the parisian has thinks is culturally superior and i think one of the best books on this whole business of cultural superiority was written by a french uh, scholar if it, the name doesn't come to me but very yeah. famous famous classic uh, and there's no country in the world in which you have the high society and the low society when I mean, the brits have it but nowhere they are like the french right and i think luthiers delhi uh, had become that you know i mean i i i i have said in my book about myself i lived the first 30 years of my life in hyderabad and when i came to delhi because i was uh, in the times of india i mean not even when i was in the economic times where i began my journalistic mm. career but by the time i moved to times of india 93 and my fellow hyderabadi was prime minister of the country mm. so the delhi elite knew that here is a fellow oh he is close to narsimha rao or his father is a you know knows narsimha rao so i the identification and i was the edit page editor of yeah. times of india yeah. so my job times of india edit page mm. and proximity my, my, to the my proximity minister. to a hyderabadi prime minister i entered the elite circles of delhi i started getting invited you know the parties the evening parties the cocktail parties the what are these farm house parties mm -hmm. and that is when i saw and look frankly they had come to believe that they are the rulers of this country and i think where narendra modi got it right which is why i titled my book india's cultural revolution right caste class and yeah. culture yeah where narendra modi got it right was to say i will go after these guys because there is an emerging elite uh, and again i've written about them you know at the state level the telugu elite the gujarati elite the bengali elite the up elite who come to delhi and feel i mean i was a hyderabadi elite right yeah. i i i come from banjara hills of hyderabad yeah. Yeah. but in delhi i was outsider yeah. so i think he very he understood this dynamic mm. of a emerging regional elite that he tried to win over yeah against the luthiers delhi yeah and i think the luthiers delhi got a kick in the backside mm. you know. but according to you well deserved one i think it was well deserved kick yeah. you know i mean frankly bharat jodo yatra would not have happened had that kick not come had that kick not come i mean that is where i i think rahul whoever advised rahul gandhi he did the right thing and he did, went about it in the right way you know i i sincerely think that was a turning point for him politically because he finally came down to earth to earth no he was surrounded by characters and i know many of the characters who were around him mm. uh, who told me when my book came out right all st stephens dune school oxford cambridge you know member of golf club delhi gymkhana club this is the crowd that surrounded him yeah he then went to karnataka kerala walked among the ordinary people and declassed himself you know the communists have this phrase you declass yourself we did declass to yeah. to, to an extent i mean not 100% so i think modi was got it right when he targeted this luthiers delhi but i think what i would say today in the ninth year of narendra modi is that many of his acolytes are now entering the luthian space they are becoming the new khan market gang they are becoming what they condemned they are becoming what is it it's in the law of power you know yeah. the dynamic of power you know yeah. you eject 
those who are in power come to power the french revolution is a yeah. classic example yeah. Yeah. where the masses came uh or, or the, the robespierre you removed the king beheaded the king and then you became the dictator right so from the french revolution you have seen that those who eject the elite then become the elite and that is happening now you know you see you go to a book function like in delhi one of the great cultural events is a book launch function mm. right you go to a book launch function and see who's sitting where who's on the dais you know the interactions between the ordinary people many of whom don't even read books and those in the front row the whole culture of a delhi book launch uh, you can see the new elite now replacing the old elite you know earlier you would have a b c being kind of surrounded now you have x y z being surrounded yeah. the people change but the behavior of the darbar is always that is why it's called the darbar where 